From Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida, this is Poker Night in America. Welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm Chris Hansen, along with Joe Stapleton. I'm on Tinder. We are back at the Seminole Hard Rock playing some poker on the Paradise Live stage. It is so cool that these guys are playing poker on the same stage as so many talented musical acts, as well as Smash Mouth. We gotta warn you, in this episode, we are gonna be showing some serious amounts of skin. Yes, but actually the warning is about the fact that over 65% of that skin belongs to Mike Dentali. Make them away, toys. Check raising anything less than a seven. Buy-ins go from five to 10,000 tonight here at Seminole Hard Rock. It's our first day back in Florida. Tight so is right. Blinds are 25 and 50 on Poker Night in America. Yep. Yum, yum. How do people flop sets here? You, him, so easy, huh? God. Well, you have to start with a pair, Mike. Right? You call in ahead of time. Tell you me, you have to start with a pair. It doesn't start with a pair too often. Oh, that's, that's the problem. That is a key. When you start with a pair, it's, it's, it's easier. You know, it's not. It helps. It makes it, it makes it a little easier. I wonder how much Mike Dentale is but charging for those two tickets cards. to the gun it's show. Two ways to make quads. Probably gone for below face. Yeah, you have more shots. Sure, Siegel makes it 175, yeah. and D. Buscali makes it 500. Hanson, who's wearing it better right now, Sam Abernathy or Mike Dentale? Cocktail. Shoulders. <laughs> I'm gonna give the nod to Abernathy on that one. Sorry. Agreed. Check. Check's in the dark. One more thing, Jack. Everything's in the dark with this guy. I'm pretty sure the presidential motorcade has less tint than those glasses. Flop is Jack High. Great. Tam Jacket. Tam Jacket. Samantha, that was a nice run. You had a sugar house. Thank you. So a thousand from De Pascali, and then a raise to two thousand from Siegel. <laughs> Normally, I would say this is a bad raise, but something tells me De Pascali does not play nearly as tight as his zero fade. That's so stupid. That was one of these games. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was twice with Jack Three. Yeah. I forgot about that till. That was pretty Come sick. on. Oh boy. Well, let's find out. His hand is like the poker equivalent of do you even lift, bro? Find out for 2,000. I think normally that fold is going to be correct, but as you can see by that very natural tan, there isn't much normal about this game. They gave me ace king. Mike Siegel today, uh, he's, he's losing some of his real estate at the table <laughs> with all of the muscle that is starting to impede from both sides of him. Just squeeze it in there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, him on tilt full blast. <laughs> Well, you're going to be on tilt tonight. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. just keep the fire department on speed dial. Yeah. My wee! There's going to be some chips on fire today. We don't, we'll know, we don't know who's round yet. And round, round and round. The, the coals are burning. Look at that straddle. Okay, yeah, Looks like the straddle's it. on. It's a blind raise to 100. Blame. Yeah, ace is the tone. From Michael Lockie. Action's on the button on Mike Dentali. Brings it up to 250. Well, my chips don't even hit the felt. You're like, raise. <laughs> I'm just trying to isolate the fish. Three raise. Yeah. It's like, I don't get it. They're like, raise. Oh Eagles three better jacks. Raise. Dentali's in position, but he is going to be dominated a lot. Raise. The guy's always raising, raising, raising. I have no chips left if you keep raising. I just keep raising with the best hand. If it doesn't hold up, for now it's the best hand. It's a five card I can't game. Help that much. Five cards. Five mm -hmm. cards. Five cards. It's a five card game. Is something someone who sucks out a lot says. Win it. They don't mm -hmm. lose. It's simple. Are you gonna win them? Nah. Oh boy. I'm gonna win this one. Are you? I'm willing. I call. Pocket fives? Yeah. That's not good. That's not good. Siegel can only hit a jack to win this hand. Like I said, it's gonna be a hit. Can run around one hundred. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna keep playing the best hand. <laughs> and for Mike Siegel, two hands, and there goes the first buy-in. Um, He's actually taking it really well. 10. I got 11 back. Once the thoughts actually come out of the brain, through the vocal cords and out the mouth, then we're gonna have some fun. Wow, I got a lot of fish food on this one. Man. Yeah, you're gonna do real good. Like I said, if the worst hand loses, I'm gonna do very badly. 
All right, I got a flight to catch it. I'll see you there. <laughs> yeah, I would someone, take the someone, money. Someone, someone coming in for me? <laughs> I would get out of here if I was you. Looks like Siegel's coming back in for another 8K. Don't get hot, get in the pot. Rough start for Mike Siegel. Let's see if he can crawl his way back up after the break. And you guys crawl your way back too, okay? Yes, we know you're drunk. Get ready to win by downloading Insta Poker Coach, the number one Texas Hold'em training app from the App Store or Google Play, and learn from the pros. Welcome back to Poker Night in America. Along with Joe Stapleton, I'm Chris Hansen. Let's get back to our poker. Poker Night in America back at Seminole Hard Rock. Straddle, restraddle. We got a straddle and a restraddle in this hand. I'm not going to insult your intelligence, Shake. I did not have kings. Two straddle. I bet it or not. Kings and above is all the same, though. Raise it up, five to bet. No. It's a raise to 500 from Schindler. I like this raise with the suited ace. He can make the nuts, and he's in position after the flop. Oh. What I had above, and you if you could have a lot of hands that could make a lot of money with. If cards rolled out, right? Well, it's a good raise from Schindler, but unfortunately, it got zero people to fold here. He is by far the best hand forehanded. Well, he was. If twos or threes count, I, mean, I like Dan's hand. I, said, I hope he's not twos and threes. Kevin is the bet. The first bet is 700 from Siegel. Through the deuce nice the full deep Pascal. Yeah, two seven six or so. It was so bad that you just threw <laughs> three hundred. I saw you. Yeah, I said I hope there's not a two and a three out there. You're gonna have you're gonna have a piece of. I think Jake can easily come in for a raise here. He'll probably be happy to get some more money in this pot, and he'd probably be fine to get it all in actually. Raise it up. Thank you. Abernathy folds. Also folding top pair. Good fold. So the raise was the 2600. Siegel called, so here we go to the turn. Heads up. Here you go. Thanks. Dude, Pascal is a good tipper. I'm going to go easy on him after that. I'm all in. All in, Sabat. Siegel now has two pair, and he's all in. He has improved, but it really doesn't change much about this for Jake since any improvement, and he'll still beat Mike. I'll tell you two truths I don't have Jack Nine, and Kings are no good. Are we playing a new game now? Is this like two truths and one lie? Or I don't know what his so point is in telling him that. <laughs> wow, what a brutal turn. Come on, Jake, let's go, man. This is uh... call. Two pair. It's good. No kidding. I told you, kings are no good. Siegel a little salty that he just got called on the draw. Jake might have too many outs. All right, so I was hoping he had kings. There's less of a chance to lose his hand. All right, any king or queen. Uh, not the king or queen of diamonds. You can call it that. Probably got diamonds stuff. You know, got it. Here comes the river. And the flush does not come home, and so Siegel finally uh, nine, wins nine, a hand. 90, five, 96, 96 and a quarter. And a quarter. I'm praying you didn't have that hand. Uh, make no mistake, I, Jake's I not leaving the table. This game is way too good. Yeah, okay, He's going to have that kind of hand. He's just going to get some more money out of his old lady He's coin purse. The big chips are next to the bus pass. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Huge pop for Mike Siegel. Huge. On the turn. You need a dictionary and an encyclopedia to have a conversation with him. Uh, you got to speak his language. Wouldn't, wouldn't that make him very smart? Yeah. Actually, that's the wrong two comment. books that, that I did pick, Mike. It's, you need a book, but not a, you're right, not a, not a dictionary <laughs> encyclopedia. You need... Rosetta Stone. <laughs> Poker could be so much easier if I it's knew It's a new language cards, right? that uh, Rosetta Stone is making trying out Mike's yeah. language. Are we waiting? Yeah, he's right there. Okay. 
Joe, you got a hand, brother. Joe, it's hey, your Joe, action you next, hand. brother. Oh, I Love a good yeah, friendly cash title? game. That would never fly in a tournament. Let's raise it. Well, plus they know he's got plenty of money to get in the pot, <laughs> yeah. so they don't, want him, they don't want him to miss a chance to bluff away more money. As indicated by the yeah, fact that he just put in $400 blind. <laughs> Yeah, we'll wait for De Pascali as long as he needs. Uh, wh whatever works <laughs> best for you, we're on your time frame. Oh. Abernathy calls out of the big blind, and now to Dantali, he will fold. Siegel calls. The replayer. Sam with the worst of it three ways. <clears throat> Sam flops okay, though, not as dominated here as she should be. Siegel fires out 900. A call <laughs> from Joe DePascali. Sam's definitely got a call to all that money out there. Has DePascali looked at his cards yet? Do you know? Uh, it looks like he's going for okay, it now. There if he he goes. Then. And Sam gets there on the turn. Siegel and DePascali drawing dead. Siegel can chop at least. Maybe. <laughs> Sam hoping to get called by Justin Eight. Or a guy who's just a mo better meaty meathead. Did you look? Did I look? I'm not sure. All right, I'm one. All in. There's three there. Joe's gonna call 1375 and his best case scenario is to chop this pot. How much is it? Well, thirteen seventy-five more. Stall zero, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he just bet four thousand. <laughs> he just bet four thousand with nothing. Well, he just bet four thousand with zero. She raised him a thousand more. He can't call. He bet three thousand. She raised him a thousand more. He can't call. Normally, I wouldn't know how he could even think about making this call. He's just getting such a ridiculous price. It's bad, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Can I see? I had that buried. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I get chopping an eight. There are no chops here, my friend. You can chop with me. Technically, how could he win? No. Are you in a no? Rosetta Stone? How could he win? <laughs> How could he win? <laughs> it's impossible. It's six out. I guess it does hurt, but there's no reason to just give her 1300 bucks. No. If your best hope is hitting one of the eights in the deck. I'm sure plenty of poker players would just give her 1300 bucks, but maybe they'd rather not do it in such an obvious spot. Yeah. Right in the gives. <laughs> right in the gives. No. Nice try at that bluff, Joe, but Bambi is unflappable. She's also unapproachable. <laughs> I'm kidding. She's quite approachable, but still. Poker Night in America is brought to you by Kimosabi. Well, hello there. Welcome back to Poker Night in America with Joe Stapleton. I'm Chris Hansen. Let's get back to the poker. Okay, Jack. Hello, poker Night in America brought to you by Kimosabi. Putting you in, never calling with King Jack for 1600. I'll call. So it. I will <laughs> call. I will raise. <laughs> Clock. How much is that? Oh, I should say I'm never calling. This might be a big one, just so you know. <laughs> to Sam Abernathy. And she must have something pretty decent to think about playing against a dude who hasn't played a hand the entire episode. Abernathy calls with the fives. Perfect hand to call with and take a juiced up multi-way flop. And so is Jack-10 for that matter. How about 5-3? Not so much. <laughs> So four players will go to the flop. Lockie, a slight advantage as we see the flop, and wow, what a flop for him. But things are gonna get interesting here in a second. Lockie starts best, flops best. 
But this is a dicey board. He should not be checking this. Nobody willing to bed, so it's back around to Lockie. Sixteen hundred is the amount. Now with pocket fives from Abernathy, this could be a place where you call, maybe see a turn. And she's got a straight draw and can improve with a set, but neither one of those is gonna be, okay, no, just call, it's fine. <laughs> if you hit your set, you're on a four card straight draw. If you make a straight, there's other bigger straights out there. Not a gigantic fan of calling there. Then Tali's gut shot is a long shot, but at least when he hits it, it'll usually be good. And Mike does call. After DePascali folds, we're now three players. Red deuce. To the turn. 7,700 in the middle. What do you think, red deuce or black 10? That is a great card for Lockie. Someone could have improved and it is almost never gonna affect the strength of his hand on this board. Again, the player's gonna let Lockie name his price. And he's gonna wanna make this sizable. Again, it's a pretty dicey board, lots of draws out there. Four thousand. This pot is getting big. And with little to no effort, look at that. Lockie plays one hand and wins one hand. I'm fishing. <laughs> I'm just having a blast. Good thing I gave you an 8K head start today. I got a lot of odds, a lot of money in the middle. Good chance to take a shot to win a huge pot. I got a lot of odds, the best odds. Everybody's always saying how many odds I got. Great odds. Huge? Huge odds. Huge odds. Ah, oh, we kid, but we care, Mike Dentali. Seriously, with arms that big, I would never make fun of you. At least to your face. I would do it on TV all day long. Let's make America sleeveless again. <laughs> Sam Abernathy is such a funny texter. Turn my phone off now. Do you know the perfect animated GIF that says, leave me alone for a second, babe, I'm working? No, what's that? I, no, I need one. Oh. <laughs> Sam facing a $900 call. I think she should probably just fold this. Her implied odds are okay, but she's just not gonna make the winner that awful with 7 6 Would off. you stop? She called. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Even though he's in position, this is just a huge raise to call pre-flop. I'm fine with the fold. All right, so we're heads up with Lockie and Abernathy. Heads up. Especially because we know he was dominated. At least Abernathy is live. Oh, man. Dentali would have flopped two pair. Unfortunately, Abernathy's caught a piece, so she's gonna have to call at least one time. She's in position at least now. 1400 the bet from Lockie over to Abernathy. So remember, whenever you're talking about implied odds, there's also reverse implied odds, and that's the money you're gonna lose and you make a costly second best hand, and for right now, that's what Sam's got. And you don't call 1100 pre-flop with seven six and then fold when you hit a six. All right, so here comes the turn. Jack of hearts. And Lockie's gotta still like his hand, but he may or may not want to pot control a little here and make the pot not too much bigger. He does check. Why? Alden. Abernathy takes advantage of that check and shoves it all in for 63.50. Well, that's one way to try to win the hand. Turning her six into a bluff. Four. 
I think Lockie's got a call, though. There aren't many hands Sam would need to protect here that Ace-Queen is actually losing to. 63.50. And if she had something that Ace-Queen was doing really bad again, she probably wouldn't have shoved. Snap call. Oh. If Queen 10, I would have took this thing yeah, fucking down on the flop. I like, hmm? I like Mike's here. You're way good. I like Mike's I am. Yeah. Ship it well. from Mama. <laughs> Okay. Well, Lockie has got to be feeling pretty good after those last couple of hands. Affirmative. Find out who else is up all night to get Lockie when we get back. Listen, no matter what, I have fun on the set. I like Siegel. And I have no bad blood for the guy whatsoever, but he don't shut the f up when you're in a hand. He just keeps yapping away, yapping away, and yapping away, and it kind of does throw off my, my train of thought. And I don't want to annoy people. I don't want to tank too long. People want to play the game. Listen, I'm one to give it, and I can take it all day long. I love the banter. I love having a good time, but I don't think he does it on purpose. I don't think he means well. I just think he's an airhead. Get ready to win by downloading Insta Poker Coach, the number one Texas Hold'em training app from the App Store or Google Play, and learn from the pros. Welcome back to Poker Night in America. Let's check out the final score. So what did Michael Lockie play like? Seriously, two hands and he's up 15,000 on the night? Life's not fair. It's the two that counted. Check out Jake Schindler. He played a whole bunch and he's up 50 bucks. Hit and run, Jake, get out of there. Some ups and downs in the poker, but as far as I can tell, no one was eaten by the wildlife and no one contracted a deadly disease, so that's pretty much a win for anyone in Florida. Jennifer Tilly is gonna join the table next time, and she has a hard time keeping her mic straight. Mike, 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 three mics? Yeah. Doesn't wow. get easier than that. Classic Jennifer. For more from Poker Night, visit PokerNight.com or find us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch for up-to-date information, full episodes, and unedited live streams. For Joe Stapleton, I'm Chris Hansen. We'll see you next time. God, it's such a nice hand when I sat down, too. I was like, ding? I wish it, possibly lose I wish a jack right? would have came on a turn. Did you look at your cards at any point? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he looked, he looked. Yeah, after, I, looked after, after she went all in, I looked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Of and I had ace queen, I was strong. <laughs> <laughs> Poker Night is brought to you by Kimosabi.